Good morning everyone and welcome back to Chasing Adventures. Uh, today we are going to be installing some lights onto 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness. So let's get right in. Alright guys, so this um, is a floodlight and this is going to be my temporary ditch light solution um, that's going to be mounted on the hood and lighting up the way. Now, um, I don't remember where I got this from, but I probably got it on Amazon, but this was a while ago. And I had these laying around and I used them on my Tacoma to use it as a camp light. So, okay. And the next guy is, these are um, what you call a rock light. There's total four of these LEDs. And what they do is they go underneath the car. And when you're crawling or when you're traveling at nighttime in an in a off-road situation, it'll light up the roads. And I got some, I believe this is 16 gauge wire that's covered. And then some electrical tape. And this is my 15 inch LED light bar, which will go on top of the roof. So I did a comparison video of the LED light bars. And if you haven't seen that, I'll leave the link in the description. So make sure to check it out after this video. Okay, so these are the hood ditch light brackets from LP Adventure. And these will go underneath the hood and you mount the ditch light right here. And it also comes with pretty neat looking emblem. That's cool. And then we have Rhino Rack aerial brackets. Also, I was trying to figure out how I was gonna going to mount this light bar on there, and I came with the, I came out with this solution. So these are going to be mounted on the railing system of my roof rack, okay? And it's gonna sit like that, and then these mount and these lights will be mounted on there. And I got two because they sell as one. So they don't come in pairs, so make sure to get two of these. And that's the part number, 43234. And then lastly, to control all these lights and more in the near future, I got this off of Amazon. So it's an eight gang switch panel, has a green backlight and indicator on. And it also has a dimmer, so you get this little sensor and it dims at nighttime supposedly. And here are all the decals you could put on. This is the switch itself. And buttons. They feel nice. And then wiring cable. And this is actually the unit that we're gonna be mounting inside the engine bay and we're going to be connecting all the LED wiring to this. Okay. I haven't figured out where I'm going to mount this yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. I'll leave links to all of these items on my description, so make sure to check them out and let's get to working. All right, guys. So after looking through this engine bay, everything's pretty tight in here, so I couldn't really find a good spot for me to put this. Um, there's mounting holes on the back, so you have to mount it on to the chassis, some something like this. But again, there's no place to mount these. So what I'm going to do is I have double side tape on the back. I'm just gonna mount it on top of this fuse box. And I did try multiple times closing the hood, but it does not hit. And in the future, if I do find a better spot, I may move it. But as of right now. That's the spot. Just double sided taped it, test it out, and it's on there. And I might just do a zip tie around here um, and holster it. So, just in case if it does come off while I'm off roading, I don't want it to fall into the engine bay. At least they'll just kind of move around. And the way it's designed is, I have to put it at the edge here because of this hood design. If I put it towards here, it would hit the hood. 
Okay, and we have some wires coming out of this. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but here it is. So the black is obviously no go to ground. This red wire is supposed to go to accessories, so it would work only if you have the engine on or if you have accessory. But I'm going to install it to the battery itself, so it's constant power all the time. So even if I'm at a campsite, I don't have to have the engine on to have the lights on. And this will also go to the battery as well. And this is for the controller. So we're going to be tapping in the controller wire and running it through the firewall. And then the control will be inside of the car. All right, the only possible way to run the wire through the firewall was through here. The this is where all the wires from the engine bay goes through. So I was able to grab a coat hanger, uh, cut the edge so it's sharpened, and and I just ran it through up there. Poked it in and squeezed it through, and it just popped out at the other end. So, and hopefully I have enough space to run this wire through that hole. We'll find out soon. All right, guys, that was no fun at all. So after messing around for about a good hour, I was able to manage and stick the wire through top side and then come around and pop it through in there. Um, and then this wire like this, Tighten it and just yank and yank and yank and yank and pull. I did have to cut a section off just a tiny bit in order for it to go through but I was able to manage to put this through. So that's the hard part. All right. Okay, now the hard part was done. On to the easy part. So this is the ditch light bracket. I'm just gonna go right on here and all I have to do is loosen these bolts and put them on and they're 12 mil so I think I'm gonna do one at a time because the way it's shaped the holes are bigger on this side so in order so if you unbolt these right away your your hood's gonna fall down so what I'm what I'm guessing is what they designed it is to have this mount first and then this go over it but I could be wrong, totally, or it could just be an adjustment, we'll see. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. You know what? No, you don't have to loosen both of them. This actually fits right through, so you just have to tighten one of them. And this is big enough to hold its place in there. Cool. So let's tighten this back up a little bit. Okay. That's one bolt. There's one, and on to the other side. All right, they're on there. One bolt system. Pretty clever. And then these floodlights will go through here and be mounted like that. A little to the side and down. All right, the ditch lights are on. Uh, again, these are gonna be temporary um, until I get a better ones. Um, I am going to order Orbis wing here, and I'm gonna put a roto pack and 
possibly those lights will come here and then I'll get a pair of um, nice actually better ditch lights than these so one thing to note about these uh, Ridge Horse LED bars their bolts are pretty big for what it is and the Rhino Racks hole is actually smaller than these bolts so I had to go to Lowe's and pick up some bolts that will fit in here but yeah these are too big okay the bars are mounted onto the brackets and I did mount it on the back side because when these are mounted um, they'll be like this and I don't want anything showing on the bottom just wanted to have a cleaner installation and these will go on top of the roof roof bars all right so I put the brackets on and I just slid it right in between the bars and the uh, roof box and this is where it's gonna stay when you're driving by the side can't really see it and there's the frontal view so what now I have to do is um, take off the roof box undo these take the rubber garment out cut them um, bolt them down and put all these back together and the wiring will come through here run it through here and all the way into the engine bay I still have to mount wire these as well but I'm doing all the hardware first and then after that rock lights all right guys Houston we have a problem <laughs> well I took the strip, rubber strip out and these are the uh, Rhino Rex supplied um, hinge but these are Thule and they don't fit so I was thinking maybe sliding the bolt because Tacoma has similar railing system in their bed and I remember making something like this with the bolt and a nut but the only problem with this is it's so shallow and this protrudes so much and if I put a roof box this is gonna poke through so I don't think that's gonna be possible so Rhino Rack apparently Rhino Rack and Thule they don't go together although someone did ask if these will fit into Thule and someone said yes so back to the drawing board all right so what I'm tempting to do is I put more double side tape 3M outdoor double side tape and it should hold it because my roof box actually sits on top of this and it should hold worst case scenario if it doesn't hold then I'm just gonna drill some holes tap and screw and screw the hell out of this okay that's on there uh, I guess I have more fate in double side tape than some of you guys do but it's on there it's actually moving the whole car and then with the weight of the roof box, this should hold in place. Cool. So I got these uh, wood connectors from Lowe's and I'm double side taping both sides. This is plastic and that LED light mount is going to be mounted right here. And I don't want all that force to be sitting on top of this. So I'm going to put this here to give it some more... Um, even weight distribution. So then this side will be sticked onto the roof box and then the bottom here um, I, I'm gonna leave it as is and it, what it's gonna do is it's gonna give a cushioning effect. And when you're modding cars sometimes you have to be a little bit more creative and brave. <laughs> I remember uh, when I was growing up we put a um, three-piece spoiler on my buddy's car um, and it's, you're supposed to drill holes and screw the um, bolts from the bottom or the, from the chassis but we just double side taped them and, and it never came off. So I have a little more faith in my double side tape than most of you might have. But um, we'll see how she holds up. Like I said, if it doesn't hold up, the worst case, I could just drill two holes into the, um, the roof bar itself. I could never sell it again, but it will be permanent fix. Okay, it's on there. <laughs> 
surprisingly it's very 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 tight doesn't move at all and it's pretty sturdy okay next rock lights and so these rock lights are long enough one of them is just long enough to do the side of the car now I bought four of these because I wanted to cover the sides cover the wheel well and come around underneath and then wheel well and then same thing with the front wheel well come around the front and then into the wheel well so let's get these mounted and so how we're gonna mount this is more double side tape and these are fairly light so I don't see any issues coming off as long as you clean very well thoroughly with 70% isopropyl alcohol underneath where you're gonna be mounting these or sticking these on and it should be good okay just got done with the rears one two three and four and I ran all the wires through these, this hole here, through this hole, and up through this, up and over into the wheel well, and all the way out to the front. See the wires hanging down right there? Yeah, it was long enough to go all the way to the front, um, but I can't. I don't think I could go up through the firewall or through the engine bay should I say because it's a little too short so I might have to connect it with the front wires but it's all tucked in nicely alright so let me just show you the sides there's one two three four and that's the front of the car see all the wires hanging down I still need to run it up so here's the passenger there's one right there, two, three, four, and then the wires we have to run it up through the engine bay and over. And we're gonna connect it to that front one. One, two, three, four, yeah, four. And then the wires we're gonna tuck it underneath and I'll probably shoot it right up through um, the engine bay and then reconnect it up there. The one wire from there, bring it over, one over, and then from here, two wires gonna come up, and then we're just gonna clamp it all in one to, into one wire, and then just run it into this. All right guys, it's finally done. It took me pretty much all day to do this. <laughs> so got the uh, ditch lights. This kinda looks funny though. I might, might have to hurry up and get a new set of lights, a little smaller. And then I got the um, bars and the rock lights. The rears. Come along to the passenger side. And then the fronts. I couldn't get it into the wheel well because it was too short. But it turned out okay. So for these wires, I popped these out, all of them. And I tucked the wires underneath here. And put the wires behind this, and then put this back on. And to the front, I ran it through here, up against the uh, wheel well. through here, ran the wires all the way up and lead it through that which came out down there and ran the wires all the way through tuck that underneath here and here's all my wires and it goes into this box as for the uh, bars Ran the wire, zip tied it along the ways, 
Run it through the windshield crack. And I took this piece out, ran the wire all the way in, put the cover back on. It's nice, nice and tucked. Same thing for this. The ditch lights, same thing. Ran the wires through this under underneath here. And everything is hidden underneath this. And the other wires from the left side, if you follow it through, see the light right there. If you follow that through all the way, it connects to this side of the, the touch light. Well, this wasn't an easy job. It took me all day because, I mean, I had to do one, two, three. So if I did one at a time, I don't think it would have taken me that this long. And this box actually helped a lot because can you imagine putting uh, three switches through there, through the firewall? So you just have one. And as far as the switch panel goes, um, I haven't put the uh, decals on, but this is the dimmer sensor. So if I close it up, see how it dims in? Bright. Dim. So I was trying to look at a place where I could mount this, but since I have the accessory wire uh, connected to the battery all time, uh, it's going to be lit up the whole time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in the glove box, and whenever I need, I'll just pull that out and use it. So again, that was a lot of work, but definitely worth it. And when the night falls, I'm going to take the car out and adjust the lights. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video because next is the wheels and tires so like this video subscribe hit the bell notification so you won't miss the next video all right catch you guys next time keep chasing adventures <laughs>